Hi guys! Um, so here's my Cape of Mountain review for December and it's a lot compared to the previous few months and it's mainly because just yesterday I got a bunch of packages so <laughs> yeah and because of that I couldn't do year end videos what I plan to do like a Christmas haul video but I will do them in January and do a Suju vlog about this year and and, and and yeah, I might do a video for top 10 K-pop songs of this year, I guess, but yeah, okay, so let's start. First, I got my birthday present from K-pop Love Unboxing, Sexy Free and Single Japanese Single CD Only Normal Version. Yep. Then I got uh, WhatsApp's Nom 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 first mini album. They are my favorite rookies for this year, so I got this and they managed to teach me their names really fast, so that's also why I like them, so I just could learn them fast, so. <laughs> then, since poster services were really slow, I only got my Aloha photo book in December, but it arrived, so yeah, it's a lovely photo book, a memory in Hawaii, uh, eighth anniversary present, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, SM gives us gifts to spend our money. Then Super Junior released their first original Japanese single, their fifth single, Blue Word, CD only version, and CD plus DVD version. Yeah. And I didn't expect one package because I didn't know it was shipped, but it arrived and it's my uh, Aquamarine food book. Uh, it's Aquamarine's first food book titled Miss You Tonight. Uh, it came with a bunch of nice extras. I still didn't watch the DVD, but I still didn't watch uh, the Hawaii DVDs and I even got season greetings, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I got my birthday present from Dark Fairy... Not a birthday? Christmas presents. I might have said birthday for the first one. Um, yeah, I'm just tired. So, um, I got two CDs and one of them is Hello Venus's uh, What Are You Doing Today? Their second mini. It's just a mini. It's a mini. Okay. Yeah, I really like Hello Venus. I just... Even though I got their Venus mini, then I just didn't because they released this and then pretty fast their Would You Like Some Tea came out. So, yeah. I still have the card up for trade for Yunjo's. And... Here I got Dai Shabet's Have Don't Have, my favorite song of them, I think, yep. And uh, I'm already trading the card for Ayong's, so that's really nice. <laughs> um, but I still have the Alice card up for trade for Halloweenus. Then I also got the other Hawaii food book, Mahalo. It arrived a lot faster, yep. It depends which day they send it, really. Yep, and it's a lovely photo book. I love this even more. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> and then um, my Blue Word Elf Japan version also arrived. Yep, all three versions. Actually, there is a fourth version, but to that's totally the same as the CD only version. It just has an extra. And I might get Donkey's later. <laughs> might. <laughs> Not sure. So. I'm just gonna trade for his normal card soon, I hopefully, and then I really hope it arrives fast, and yeah. Then, here is um, their pop-up store postcard set. This was released like in November or October, but I put it in a package with uh, my season greetings, so yeah. But And the photos were made even before Yesung and listed, so yeah, and the other goods were released in the summer. Uh. But I got it, the postcard set. Then I also got the season greetings. I only have the DVD now in here. Uh, but yeah, I broke the calendar too. Gonna use it from tomorrow. And then check the, the other pages for the 2013 one. I'm gonna switch my Boys in City 2 calendar to that one on the shelf. Then the surprise packages for yesterday, which I didn't expect to arrive until January. But yeah. Um, SM Town 2007 Winter Only Love and I fixed that like I could and it's not sticky some parts are not perfect but at least I, at least I got the price tag down so yeah the last out of print SM Town CD what I needed so yeah oh. 
I'm not gonna include these in my Korean collection though, because I'm almost complete with my Korean collection, almost. Then my Tiara CDs also arrived. Tiara again, 1977, and it looks gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just so perfect. Like really, it's just huge. That's the only thing. I got really mad at not the album but my shelves, so I bit reorganized my K-pop stuff because this was too big and yeah I got mad because I always imagined my Tiara albums together then their small uh, breaking card first full album repackage look at Injang, she looks really weird here but yeah, Yumi with sunglasses um, yeah and there's the back like this one a bit better yeah this album is really good <laughs> of course Tiara's music is amazing and I also got their first mini uh, Temptastic with my favorite song and first ever Tiara song <laughs> and it was like one of my first ever researched artists I guess because I just remembered their name didn't know which song I heard by them exactly so why are you being like this I ended up with that song because that was their newest one then I think no Rally Polly already came out but something it didn't came up in the search so <laughs> um, yeah um, this was my December and it's K-pop field, not only Super Junior, and that's really nice. But now I'm focusing more on Super Junior, even though I really wanted to get these Tiara stuff. Because these were out of print, so needed to get them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!